Hey everybody, it's Melissa again from The Delicious Nutritionist and I'm really excited for today's video because we're going to be looking at what Rosanna Pansino eats in a day. Um, I love Rosanna's YouTube, she's such a foodie and she makes so many delicious baking and everything so I'm really excited to see what she eats in a day. We're going to be rating her health and also how delicious her food is because I think um, it's really important to have delicious and healthy food to transform our physique but also keep our taste buds happy is my philosophy. Let's, here we go. And for breakfast, every day, no matter what I'm punching on, I always have coffee, so. Okay, I don't think coffee is bad to start your morning. Um, I, I personally don't have coffee, I don't feel the need for it. Occasionally I might have a matcha, I like doing that, and it has matcha, green tea has more antioxidants and also it has a slow release of caffeine but you know if you're going to have coffee then make sure you have it before 12 because caffeine has a 12 hour lag time in our body which means anything after 12 lunchtime is going to impact your sleep so that is just a top tip from a nutritionist so in a blender we're gonna put some frozen pineapple frozen banana slices some ice coconut milk but if you don't want to use coconut milk you can substitute it for like almond milk regular milk whatever you'd like then a little bit of almond butter and now we add the veggies and you don't even taste them a little bit of spinach and a little bit of baby kale okay so health wise i would give this a nine out of ten deliciousness i would give this a eight out of ten i think it's pretty delicious i start my mornings in a similar way sometimes i think um people put smoothies and juices on a pedestal like oh it's health but there's so many different alternatives you can have for your breakfast like avocado with smoked salmon and eggs and you know rye rye bread or porridge keep it simple porridge and, and fruit i think it's brilliant how she uses frozen fruit and also she adjusted vegetables as well because again, it helps with the food waste. It's so much easier. You just take it out, the gaudy cut cubes or pineapple. Um, and I think this will taste really good. It's a bit like pina colada with the coconut milk and the, the um, pineapple and banana and stuff. And you can freeze your banana slices. I'm looking at um, my <laughs> fruit bowl. Um, some banana When they can start to go a bit mushy, you can make banana bread or you could just slice it up and put them in the freezer ready to go. And also she's got some nut butter in there as well, um, which is a great source of protein, great source of healthy fat. And that will, um, again, like help with the whole blood sugar released. It won't be so much of a big spike. Um, and you also got the vegetables in there as well. So particularly if you're fussy with your greens, this is a great way of, of getting them in. Mm, that hits the spot. If you aren't familiar with HUM, HUM Nutrition is an all natural line of supplements that are sustainably sourced, non GMO, and free. Oh god, are those hair gummies? Oh dear. So, gummies. People aren't getting the basics. Right, we've got to think. Okay. It's like when you make a cake, bake a cake, people aren't getting the sponge right, they're just worried about the cherries on top. Get the basics right first. Are you having eight glasses of water a day? Are you having your five a day, whether that's two portions of fruit and three portions of vegetables a day? Are you getting outside, getting some fresh air, getting some exercise? These are the scaffolding of health, okay? So many people, they don't even do the basics and then they waste their money on these hair gummies. You don't really, both of us don't really need supplements. The best way is to get it from the vehicle of food. The, your body takes the nutrients from food the best, not from a gummy. But for the everyday person who is eating, you know, different colours and have your five a day, you don't really need supplements. Um, what else does she have? Okay, vitamin D. That is a must. In the UK, we're recommended to have vitamin D in the winter months especially. Um, so that is between October till April. To have vitamin D, you can have this in tap, like tap capsule form, you can have it in drop form, whatever floats your boat. Um, well then what she's got, helps promote restful sleep, melatonin. Now I wouldn't recommend supplementing melatonin because that's gonna impact um, your, bo your body um, might kind of not produce it as well if it's relying on an external source. So again, with sleep, there's so many things. Try all the natural things first. You know, I have a whole session on this with clients that I like to deal with health in a holistic way. So 
with sleep, for example, you know, have you, are, are you stopping technology an hour before bed? Have you got blackout blinds? Are you doing some sort of deep breathing or like some self care? Like what is your unwind routine? If all else fails, then okay, maybe go to your doctor or health professional and they can advise. Um, so that's my opinion on supplements. I, I've, I've saved so much money for my client. Oh, big point guys, is if you're taking supplements, like she's got like three supplements going on the go, make sure that there's no crossover. So if you're taking like a multivitamin that contains vitamin D and you're also taking vitamin D as well, because your nutritionist recommends it, then there's gonna be an overlap. Vitamin D, E, A, and K are the fat soluble vitamins, which means that it doesn't come out in our pee. So you can overdose on fat soluble vitamins. Okay. Then moving on to lunch. For lunch or dinner, I like to order out a couple times a week to support a local restaurant. I just moved, we are filming in the new kitchen. And so I am trying out new local restaurants. And today I ordered some salads from this really cute place. It's just a couple blocks away and they make sandwiches, salads, and my favorite, these little veggie wraps. I love these. They're basically veggie wraps with rice noodles and they're also wrapped in rice paper. So they have rice paper around the outside, then a piece of lettuce, then thinly chopped carrots, cucumber, rice noodles, and alfalfa sprouts. Okay, so I would give this like nine out of 10 deliciousness. Oh, I love noodles. I love dipping it into like a Thai, like peanut sauce, and it's got like different colors in there, which is good. It's a great indicator of getting different nutrients. Um, she's having the vegetables in like the whole form. Um, so yeah, great to get your um, five a day. The noodles is like a great sort of starchy carbs. Okay, it's not that nutrient dense, but it's still really good. And she's got salad with it. So I don't know whether that's too like salady, but um, it, I mean, it looks good. Every day I have to have a snack in between meals. I have to be nibbling on something about every two hours. So this is something that I like to make and just snack on all week. In front of me, I have ingredients for homemade energy balls. I'll put the ingredients down below. I have made these on many like morning um, talk shows before. I've done a demo of them, but I really love these and I love this recipe because it is a dump and stir recipe. You just dump all these ingredients in the bowl, mix it up. So this is just showing us such a great way to um, one save time and to have healthy snacks. Great recipe I give to clients is these energy balls and there's so much choice. I've done like sticky toffee energy balls, I've done like chocolate double brownie energy balls, like mint and chocolate, so good, um, lemon, everything. And um, yeah, you can freeze it, they last for like a week or two depending on which recipe. You have the oats in there, I can see, healthy nut butter, like a little dash of like maple syrup or something, or we could use dates for natural sweetness. Oh, so yeah, this is a real lifesaver. And uh, yeah, then you have no excuses that you have no time because you can make a big batch, freeze it, Instead of getting all the Milky Ways or Quality Street that you might snack on, you can snack on this and it fuels your body, keeps your taste buds happy, keeps your physique looking incredible. And uh, yeah, happy days. Um, so yeah, I would give this like nine out of 10 for health, nine out of 10 for deliciousness. Here's how you make them in a large mixing bowl. You're just gonna add in your oats, protein powder, add some chia seeds, flaxseed. I'm adding some dried mm. cream. So, so she's adding flaxseeds and chia seeds, which are really good um, protein source. Chia seeds also provide some omega-3 fats. Um, this is really good, particularly if you have like constipation issues or like you're not getting all your fiber in there. Um, this is a great way, addition, delicious addition, delicious way of having, having your upping your fiber intake. It's because I like them. If you don't like them, you can substitute it with something else. A little salt and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, yum. Then take a whisk. Just whisk these together first before we add our sticky ingredients. These are kind of like your dry ingredients. And this is if you wanted to add substitutions, like add some chocolate chips or crunched up pretzels. I mean, mm, you can add like cacao nibs if you want to be like a bit more cleaner. Um, dark, dark chocolate chips is good. It's got less um, sugar anything here. Look how easy this is. This is stupid easy. Once you got your dry ingredients all mixed up in the bowl, we're going to add our sticky ingredients, which are going to make these stick together. So I'm going to be adding almond butter. If you don't like almond butter, you can use peanut butter. That's fine too. We're going to do a little honey. And last but not least, chopped dates. These are sweet and really tacky. They really help keep these little energy balls. Yeah, dates is really key for getting that like fudgy stickiness, as she said. Um, also really good. I love adding chopped dates to like salads. It's really 
re really transforms the dish. Like yesterday I made like a salad with like broad beans and I had um, bulgur wheat and a really nice dressing and then I had some shot dates and it's just so good. It's like little pockets of sweet, delicious, yeah, it's like sweet, sweetness in the dish. It's like adding raisins or something. Um, so yeah, I really love dates and also Another snack you could do, get a really nice medjool date, which is a bit more expensive, but they're just more juicy. And then adding some pecan nuts inside. And when you eat it, it's just like sticky toffee pudding, no joke. And this is coming from a foodie, um, so it's really good. It's like pecan pie, sticky toffee pudding vibe. Um, and that's great, particularly if you like really crave sticky toffee pudding. Um, are seriously perfect for any time of day then I never feel hungry after I have just like a couple because each little ball has about four grams of protein so two of them eight grams of protein so good I'm gonna go put these in the fridge and then I'm gonna show you what we're making for dinner last meal of the day now it is time for dinner I love dinner I keep dinner is pretty simple it's usually a grain and a protein and then a little veggie of some sort sometimes it's rice and salmon. Tonight it's gonna be pasta and chicken. Tonight I am making my favorite dinner that I have at least once a week. I'm making chicken piccata with angel hair pasta. And I'm gonna throw this in the pot. I've got a pot of boiling angel water over pasta. here. So I'm just gonna put this in here. In England we just call it spaghetti. Started. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of oil in there. Helps the pasta not stick and I put a little salt in earlier so I'm just gonna let that go. And then over here we're gonna get our chicken ready. In front of me here I have some fresh chicken which has been trimmed and butterflied already. We're gonna dredge them before we start cooking. So in a small bowl, I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour, a little salt and pepper to taste. All right, I'm gonna mix that up. And then we're just gonna put the chicken in there, each side. Just get a little bit of texture when it cooks. And this recipe is really dinner for two, but if you wanna do three or four, you can just add some more chicken. Our chicken is ready to cook, and now I'm just gonna turn the heat on the stove. We're gonna put it on a medium heat, put a little bit of butter in the pan, and a little bit of oil. As soon as that butter is melted, this is ready. Okay, now we're gonna put our little chicken in here. There we go, and we're gonna cook like three minutes each side. I, I think, um, as a nutritionist point of view, um, if you want to have, um, it's all about getting the complex carbohydrates. So if you wanted to be super healthy, you could have chickpea pasta, you could have black bean pasta, you could like um, cook a squash and spaghetti it with a fork, you could just have whole grain pasta, um, but you know, everything in moderation. This is just my point of view, if you wanted to like, the clients love chickpea pasta because it literally tastes exactly the same or oh, whole grain pasta as well. For three minutes, flip them. Ooh, perfect. On top there, and with a big spoon, you can just scoop on the sauce. Gotta get some lemons on there, capers. And do a little olive oil and balsamic vinegar for dressing. And you just do a light drizzle, just a little drizzle, drizzle. Okay, so health. I would get this. 7 out of 10 because um, again like she could upgrade the comp to the carb starchy carbohydrates to a more complex one as I've already said and she ideally would need to have one more handful of vegetables ideally a different colour. She used quite a lot of butter and obviously she added extra fat as well on top of that so you know obviously you know everything is fine but you know I'm just giving like a major critique here. Um, and deliciousness, um, I would give this like a 7 out of 10. I'm not a massive fan of capers, but it does look good. I mean, I just, I just love pasta. I'm actually going to make pasta after this because I just love it. Alright Mike, this one is for you. And this one is a for a me. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It, oh my gosh, Mike, this is just cooked perfectly. Round 10, I like to start calming down and a part of that routine for me is having a little bit of tea, something with no caffeine, usually like a chamomile. So I got a little hot water here. Let this like steep for a second, about 20 minutes before I'm about to be in bed, passed out, I have this supplement. It's melatonin and vitamin B6, and this helps me sleep. If you're not... 
familiar with melatonin? It is a natural sleep hormone that your body makes, and B6 helps make serotonin, which helps regulate sleep patterns. So all of the things that you want when you are sleeping. <laughs> I used to wake poor Mike up like four times a night, and Mike, now how many times am I waking you up? Not as many, that's Not as many! I'm out! Some days I sleep in later than you. Yeah, as I said, I wouldn't recommend taking melatonin because it's gonna stop your body from producing it naturally. Do all the basics first. And I think caramel is a great addition for our evening routine, our unwind routine. Um, I actually have um, sleep tea, it's called. It's got like lots of like flowers and different sort of um, natural stuff in there as well. I think it's a good way to hydrate as well. Um, so yeah, so overall, you know, I think her, I think today is being quite, um, quite realistic. It's not like too healthy. It's delicious. I really love the addition of the energy balls and she has a good breakfast in the morning. I've already said my thing about supplements. Definitely some things which you can improve on, but you know, we're not perfect. We're all human beings. And I think it's a balance between realistic that fits into your lifestyle, deliciousness, and also health. She could maybe add some like flax seeds or chia seeds to a smoothie to make sure that she is getting her hitting her 30 grams and again having like an addition of another veg in her evening meal or maybe mixing like courgette um, which is like zucchini courgette spiralized with the pasta maybe to get another vegetable in there that would be amazing but yeah all in all good um if you like this video um please like and subscribe to the channel um you know this is a very light-hearted uh, video entertaining video a way of getting you guys giving health advice to you guys i love rosanna i think what she does is incredible and i'm looking forward to her next video um, so thank you so much for your time for watching this and I'll look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. Bye.